I'm sorry I don't see you more. I'm sorry that the four minutes when you Hold on, gang. We gotta we gotta get this on film. Was that his mom? Am I tripping? Sorry we ain't close as we should have been. Sorry Oh, these are all his different eras. Oh, that's fire. Wait, is this the new one then? We got Flower Boy, Cherry Bomb, right? I don't remember what these are in the back. I just know these are different album like aesthetics that he had. This is the Call Me If You Get Lost one. That's fire. I don't know what this is then. That's My fire. Friends, stories we Igor not there? Oh, I like that. I like that. He's shitting. Damn, Nick. Nah, hold on, gang. Hold on, gang. I'm not listening to that one until. I'm not gonna listen to. I'm not gonna listen to this. Dog Tooth. Is that a new one too? I'm not gonna listen to that until tomorrow. I want to have a little bit of extra music to listen to tomorrow, so I'm just waiting. I do have discipline. I have very, very good discipline. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not, not now. Not today. Um, Jesus, that was really good. That was really good. That was really good. That's the type of musical backdrop that I'm trying to hear. You could hear him even without the music video. How emotive he is. You know what I'm saying? The vocal inflections coming in, being different. Um, to kind of represent different eras of his rap career. You know what I'm saying? Um, kind of like interrupting his flow in almost a way. Um, it comes out like uh, it comes out like an intrusive thought on the track, which is full, which is cool. I like that. Um, it just adds a little bit of more. It adds a bit more variety to the song. It helps it keep it keeps it fresh. Um, it keeps it nice. Um, I like his lines in here about you know people really not knowing who he is and. You know, not necessarily having like this identity crisis, but people having this commentary on him. Run it back, Sean. I don't want to. I don't want to run it back yet, yet, yet. I mean, I could, but um, I like that. I like that. I think he's gotten a lot more. I think he's gotten better at becoming personal while still maintaining his privacy, which is a hard thing for artists to do. I think, as far as uh, you know, his personal life, he's been very good at not blurring those lines and still maintaining that level of privacy i i think it's difficult for rappers to do that and then not feel like they gave too much so i think he's you know balancing that that line really really well i know it's easy for you to get burnt out especially if you're an artist having to constantly give 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 to your uh to your audience like you're like you're making diary entries but um i like i like the way he's rapping i like what he's doing so far i do you gotta hear dog too that's too good tomorrow we'll listen to it tomorrow but this is a really creative video, um, and it definitely shows the growth and the evolution and the intentional, I guess, disassociations from each one of these eras that he's gone through, um, at least when we talk about from a musical perspective. Uh, and that's what I was talking about before when it comes to attempts, because it's so rare to see someone, and we talked about this with JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown not too long ago, it's rare for artists to just go out on a whim and just do it because hey i'm inspired or i want to do i want to represent myself in a new light you know what i'm saying i also heard him talking about how he loves being a rapper but he never wanted to abandon the title of rapper because everything that he does is basically just to express himself in a new way while still maintaining everything that he used to be without trying to abandon it you can still be new things at the same time i like that too you know what i'm saying I just like I think Tyler has had one of the most creative forms of expression throughout this whole music shit and it's only gotten better over time. It's to a point where I completely just trust the abilities so strongly that his next album coming out, even this B-sides record dropping, I just know it's going to be good, you know? It's rare that you have that much confidence in an artist. I know a lot of people have that feeling with Kendrick, a lot of people have that feeling with Ye, a lot of people have that feeling with Jay. Um it's to a point, you get to that point, you know what I'm saying? He's at that point. He's at that point. That's how I feel about him at this point. He's at that point where I trust his abilities to drop great music, great material on a regular basis. That's just what it is. But this is the example that I was trying to get. This is the example that I was trying to get or give y'all when I was talking about how creative and expressive that he he is. Um, Kendrick is that 
And Tyler has been that. And if we gonna put somebody in that top three conversation, I'm going to probably kick Drake. If we talking uh, expressive or attempts at new music and just consistently getting better with each drop, I'm definitely kicking Drake from that from that conversation. Um, Cole can sit there, but if Kanye's still in existence, I'm gonna probably put Kanye in there before Cole too. So. If I got to put three in there from this generation, or not even from this generation, but three right now who could drop music that I'd be confident will be at the very least interesting to a point where it's just like, oh, shit, you know, I'm, like, I just got to see what this new evolution or what this new stage in their career is. It's going to be Kanye. It's going to be Tyler. It's going to be Kendrick. Those are going to be my three. Those are going to be my three right now. 